The following is my opinions and my thoughts. Do not use this video as a weapon against people who disagree with you. Other than that, enjoy the video. Alright, before I jump straight to the conclusions like I did with the Mario's Not Gonna Die meme and the Wii not self-constructing in 2023, I'm going to explain about the free updates. Now, I'm terrible at explaining about it, but I am good at showing examples, so sorry about that. When Cyberpunk 2077 released in 2020, of course, the game itself was literally broken and... Well, you guys get the whole story. However, after the creator apologized for all those mistakes, he promised there's a free update roadmap, and by the looks of it, it actually looked promising. And to be honest, even though I don't forgive his apology, I do respect it. I mean, it's like, unlike any other company that would ever apologize. <laughs> Marvel's Avengers. Other than that, this is perfect for those new gen fans that are interested in Cyberpunk 2077. I'm gonna be honest and real here. The free updates for me aren't that terrible. Also, nowadays people are absolutely arguing and bitching about it, and I actually find that very much ridiculous. And all they're basically complaining about is tapping a free update button, and then you press it, update, and then boom, all done. Also, I have a question. Do free updates cost money? Let's find out. Huh, that's funny. I don't see any dollar logo. Oh, while I'm waiting, I'm gonna wait very patiently and put this sucker to sleep mode. Well, of course, my other software is downloading as well. Actually, I take it back. I actually want to see how it looks like while it's downloading. Oh, that was fast. I was expected it to be longer, but that was easy enough, was it? I don't see any dollar logo on the back of the box either. Now that I've looked everywhere, I'm starting to realize the truth, and I'm going to jump straight to the conclusion right now. This whole free update drama and complaining is just absolutely ridiculous and stupid. All you have to do is press the update button, wait patiently, and then boom, you're done. I didn't even see a single dollar sign logo on the free updates and everything. Honestly, and hear me out, and here's the truth right here right now. Free updates aren't terrible. People are just too stupid to even realize that, and they keep complaining about it 24-7. Those types of complainers need to shut up and realize the truth. And I know Nintendo's smart enough to know that. Also, they, even though they're just a company, they do listen to criticism as well. So like I said, free updates aren't terrible, in my opinion. All you have to do is press a button, wait patiently, and then boom, you're done. That's about it. Even Sonic Colors Ultimate and the other Sonic games had this treatment. And when they had free updates, I didn't see people complaining about that either. All they had to do was just press a button and wait patiently, then done for that part too. So it's not just the Nintendo games, but it also counts for other games as well, like Battlefront 2 and the others. Now, I know at the end of this video, or immediately, a bunch of Nintendo complainers are going to start getting out their AK-47s or Glock 19s and start shooting at me saying, we don't care, or alternatively call me bootlicker, white knight, or anything. And here's what I'm gonna say. Just pull the fucking trigger. Go ahead. Do it. You think I care? All I'm doing is just saying my opinions and my thoughts about it. This video is also not meant to attack any other popular Nintendo YouTuber that's mentioned about it. Those are their opinions and not mine. Their opinions are separate from mine. These are just my opinions and my thoughts. And I'm telling this straight to the complainers that complained about it too much. This video is not meant to attack the popular Nintendo's opinions. 
These are just my opinions and my thoughts. And like I said, I'm just telling this to the complainers. If they don't want to agree with me, that's okay. They can disagree with me. I'm just saying my feelings and my positive opinion about it. But this does lead me to another question. Have you ever been attacked by a person for liking a game they don't like? Now I know what you're gonna say. That's impossible. I don't think anyone else has done that. Wait, are you referring to Herman Smith? Well, basically, he's an overreactor, but that's his problem, not mine. Also, as a Nintendo fan myself, I really despise him. And no, we're not talking about the major, major Nintendo defender. We're instead talking about the positive Nintendo fans. The respectful ones, and the honest, nice, real, truthful ones. Now, if you thought I was the only real respectful Nintendo fan, there's other Nintendo fans out there that actually love Mario Strikers Battle League, Switch Sports, and other stuff. But what if I told you, sadly, those people get attacked for liking those games? Allow me to read you a tweet. So there's this person that once said, it really shouldn't be a crime to be a positive Nintendo fan nowadays. I shouldn't be called a dick rider or a bootlicker because I like 99% of things Nintendo does, even when I can't admit their flaws. I've been called bootlicker for liking these games slash consoles. WTF. What? To conclude and continue this, she also mentioned, Why does being positive towards a company automatically make you a bootlicker? I have massive faith in Nintendo, but I'm also more a capable at pointing out their flaws. I love Mario Kart 8 DLC. It's peak of fiction to me, but I can admit it has a bunch of issues. I didn't expect this to blow up so much. Uh, I have nothing to promote. IG, the normal follow me stuff I haven't done art in months, but hey, I like Nintendo. Doc Doctor even mentioned, I don't even understand the point just because someone likes a certain thing that others don't, I and I call a bootlegger, that has some to be a stupidest thing I've ever had to see. I will take being a positive optimistic over being a psychological killer joy any day. It's just like a waste of time and energy to be outputting so much negativity and in regards to such people calling the chill fan bootlickers. So, curious question, would you attack a chill, honest, respectful Nintendo fan for liking Mario Strikers Battle League and Switch Sports for fun? Or would you attack them if they said it was their favorite game? Or would you even attack someone for saying they're alright with it? Now, most of my honest fans will shortly say no, because unlike the complainers, my subscribers are actually respectful and honest and nice. The complainers, on the other hand, attack innocent and chill Nintendo fans for liking those games. And honestly, I find that very disgusting and disrespectful. Oh yeah, also they blame crap on Doug Bowser and I can't describe new present, even though they weren't the ones that made the paid online membership. It was planned long before they even became president. Even it was planned long before and we all knew it was coming during the Switch's announcement and details while Reggie was still around. So don't just pretend everything was beautiful and pretty when both Reggie and Iwata were still around. Oh yeah, speaking of which, I've seen people getting attacked for telling those people politely to please stop using Iwata's death as an excuse against us and they just tell them to buzz off or piss off, which I find very ungrateful as well. When I defend Nintendo along with its respectful chill fans, they may think I'm just defending the company. But sometimes that's not true, and most likely not. The only side I care about Nintendo are its developers, its employees, its development leaders like Sakurai, and its respectful trusted CEOs. Yeah, you heard me. I like Doug Bowser. From where I see him, deep in his soul, I never saw Doug Bowser as a terrible CEO. I even looked up Reddit articles about him and other stuff, and by the looks of it, he looks like a normal, ordinary, chill CEO. He even gave Boy Scout cookies and hell, he's even investigating the whole sexual harassment thing. That's something Activision Blizzard would never do. So yes, as a true Nintendo fan and a chill one, I think Doug Bowser's a perfect CEO. I like all of the CEOs, the past and the present ones. I love them all, including their employees, their developers, and their development leaders, and that's about it.
the one major thing I don't like about Nintendo is their DMCA team and their broken DMCA bots and their strict rules. That's about it. The company, I don't really defend unless if something like big tragic happens to it, but all I care about are their developers and that's about it and their CEOs and other stuff. So basically, all I care about are the people there, and that's it. However, I'm not just into Nintendo all, all the time. I also like Sega, Insomniac Games, Mojo Games, and Microsoft. But those companies could have issues too, and we're just trying to help them improve. That explains the whole criticism part. But only, but only take the criticism part respectfully, unlike the complainers that probably harassed them or sent death threats to them over Peter's new face. Yeah, that did actually happen. Check out my video if you're interested. I already made a video about it. But the thing is, I really have a special heart in the company's developers, and I respect and care about them, and I'm always chill with them. I'm not, like, toxic or unpatient, unlike the complainers. I'm completely cool and chill. Like, if they can take all the time they need... I won't mind. So like I said, free updates aren't that big of a deal. All you have to do is press a button, wait for an update, and then boom, you're done. It's not that hard. And yeah, but the whole attacking positive Nintendo fans and other fans really needs to stop. This could also go for the same with the people who are excited for Frontiers. People destroying their hopes and dreams, and this could also affect new gen fans as well. They need an honest, respectful dude that can tell them the truth. And basically, I'm the only one who can do it. No one else would even do it. Also, as a Wii U owner of my own, the Wii U is still fantastic, don't get me wrong. But it was never perfect. But it's still a good console. It's just that it was never perfect. The Switch is better in my opinion. I usually main with the 3DS and the Switch Lite. And yeah. One more thing. After I do a review for Strikers, I'm also going to do Tennis Ultra Smash as well. So I've already got a few projects prepared, but before I do these reviews, I'm also going to do the whole Who Remembers Pac-Man 2010's information, and yeah. But other than that, like I said, free updates aren't that big a deal. These are just my opinions and my thoughts. They're not meant to attack the other positive Nintendo YouTubers. These are just my opinions. They're separate, and then that's about it. Other than that, I hope you guys understand this video. If not, then that's okay. Subscribe for more if you're interested in my channel. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. So peace out.